question that you're seeing on the screen. So, um, the first thing that uh, I would like to tell you is that if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do so, so that you don't uh, miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting. Alright, so let's quickly begin to solve the question. Okay, so the first question here is, um, is that it can be shown that the inequalities 1 minus x squared uh, less, I mean over, uh, over 6 and less x sine x over 2 minus 2 cos x less 1 holds for all values of x close to 0. In other words, it holds when we find the limit of this O function when x is approaching 0. Okay. That's what that means. Then the other thing is that we have this question here which says what if um, I mean what if anything does this tell you about the limit when uh, about the limit uh, when x is approaching 0 of this same function give reasons for your answer so if if we let this function here that we've been given to be f of x so if we say let f of x we're also using what is known as squeeze theorem in this fun in this question as well. So if we say let, o let, let f of x be equal to uh, x sine x, then everything divided by, we have 2 minus 2 cos x. So if this is a, equated to f of x, meaning this function on top here can be written as 1 minus x squared over 6, less uh, f of x less 1 so just from this we can now find the limit when x is approaching 0 so I've equated this part to f of x so we can now find the limit when f uh, I mean when x is approaching 0 the limit of uh, this function when, um, when x is approaching 0 so remember when you're using squeeze theorem you have to introduce the limit on both uh, i mean on all the functions that you have in the inequality so i'm going to introduce the limit on this part even there even there so this is just going to be the limit of x squared over six rather the limit of one minus x squared over six when x is approaching zero is less than the limit of um, f of x uh, when x is approaching 0 is also less than the limit of 1 when x, x is approaching 0. So if you have such um, expressions or if it's, you, you have such a function now, an inequality, you can now find the limits of um, all these uh, functions that you have. So the first one here, when we replace 0 while there's x there, we're going to have uh, 1 minus 0 over 6 less, and then here we're not going to do the replacement, we just leave it the way it is, f of x, when x is approaching 0, and then this is less, the limit of a constant when x is approaching any number is simply just that same constant. So from there we can conclude on this part to say 1, the answer is 1 this side because we know 0 over 6 the answer is 1 and then um, you have 1 which is less than the limit of f of x when x is approaching 0 which is also less than 1 so remember according to squeeze theorem if you have the same number this side and also this side means that the limit of the function in between there is equivalent or is equal to the same number that is uh, on both ends of the inequality all right so we can conclude that the limit yeah so they are asking that what if anything does this tell you about this limit so it tells me according to me it tells me that the limit of um, f of x in this case f of x is x x sine x the limit of x sine x over 2 minus uh, 2 sine or rather 2 cos x 
is simply just equal to one so this is what it tells me okay so this is what it tells me it tells me that the limit of this function when x is approaching zero is simply just one yeah so the reason that they want me to give mathematically is this uh what is what you have seen here what i've uh, solved here all right okay so if you have not yet uh subscribed to the channel make sure that you do so so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting and if you have any questions feel free to contact me on any of these lines if you need tuitions or help in mathematics feel free to contact me on any, on any of these lines my name is hamted see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom